Alex Hermosi. Alex Hermosi. Alex Hermosi. Alex Hermosi. Have you seen this person? Yes, dude. This guy's all over my TikTok. Hard work will not make you rich. A couple worth millions accused of scamming thousands of fans on the internet. If I didn't exist, Layla wouldn't have started the businesses. And if she didn't exist, I would have, ha I would have too many. Making generic inspirational videos and leading young entrepreneurs to buy their products. If you understand the steps that I'm about to share with you in this video, you will be able to step-by-step step create a fortune. Many have debated whether or not this couple is another drop in the sea of fake online gurus, draining their fans' bank accounts to fill their own. In this video, we're going to take a deep dive into the history of Layla and Alex Hermosi and determine the legitimacy of the lessons they preach. Let's start with the big man himself, Alex Hormozzi, who is an entrepreneur, philanthropist, author, and investor with a net worth of $18 million. But before his huge success, Alex was just an ordinary guy, living an ordinary life. During his college years at Vanderbilt University, Alex was getting straight A's and held the title of vice president in the Vanderbilt powerlifting group. After graduation, he worked as a management consultant in established firms for many years. But as good as it sounds, Alex wasn't feeling the same spark and wanted to do something more meaningful, as he felt like he was living a life based on others' guidance with no path of his own. So, to break free from his chains, Alex began chasing his entrepreneurial spirit, risking it all to live a different life. In 2013, 23-year-old Alex opened his first gym under the name United Fitness, which began showing promising financial results and from there, his empire started growing, opening five more gyms on different locations in just three years. But the entrepreneur life wasn't easy for Alex. With no place to call home, Alex spent nine months sleeping on his gym's floors, hustling to get by life until one day, things took a turn for the worst. As Alex sold all of his gyms for $300,000 in order to avail a business opportunity, this decision would be his worst one yet, as he lost all of his money and became broke. After I like built all the gyms up, I got out of that, and then I sold them, put all the money into this new venture, and the money was gone. The processor got shut down so that I couldn't get the new money that I'd made. It just felt like it was quicksand. It's like every time I took a couple steps, I would just sink again. After facing such a devastating loss, an ordinary person would give up their dreams, but this wasn't the end for Alex, as he wanted to keep pushing, no matter what life threw at him. So, he decided to put an online business called Gym Launch that provided him coaching and consulting services to gym owners that wanted to increase their revenue and scale their business. Along with that, Alex started a licensing business for his gyms, which became a huge success. I remember saying this to the first guy, I was like, call up my, my uh, getting out of the gym business sale, selling my secrets, I'll give it to you. He was like, how much? And I said, six grand. 6K? Sure. Done. It was so fast, I, then I was like, eight? And he was like, yeah, 10? Yeah, that works. I did 60 grand that day. Throughout his entrepreneurial ventures, Alex made inspirational and informative videos on social media and YouTube, which featured Alex guiding entrepreneurs on how to successfully run and scale a business. The videos gained hundreds of thousands of views and attracted a large following in return, amassing 1.1 million followers on Instagram and 1.25 million subscribers on YouTube. But as Alex grew in scale, the more hate he received in return, as his pattern of motivational videos, promotion of products and high reward promises raised red flags for many people in the online atmosphere, calling him a fake guru who's scamming people into the idea of spending money on his courses and products in order to make more money himself. Regarding Alex's free courses, many people began leaving comments like, This is a business strategy, not some goodwill. Businesses do this to get followers or consumers who are then likely willing to invest more than what the gift was. Thus, free definitely should make people question the product and how the business is making money. It only takes a minute to realize why all these gurus promote each other and never ask any hard questions. They all make a living from keeping the hype going. It's in their self-interest to promote get-rich-quick scams. Meanwhile, Gym Launch ex-employees had a concern of their own, highlighting the toxic work environment of the business and how easily they fire their workforce without any warnings. While talking about the business, many left comments like, no stability, constant lies, hires rapidly, uses you and fires you, fires large groups at a time, no one is valued. They insist you're at a good review when you're at your prime to counter all the bad. Then they fire you a few months later. 
always growing, always downsizing. Don't work here, the whole company is basically a pyramid scam. Over 2019, they restructured their business model twice, causing month-over-month -month tidal waves of layoffs. They lied to their clients and sold them products that were not tested and cost their clients money and leads. They lied to their team about business results or merely lacked important data that affected individual department success as well as overall company success. But the controversies never stopped Alex from growing his empire, investing in two ventures and creating two more companies called Prestige Labs and ALAN, which have been proven to be lucrative for Alex, bringing in millions of dollars per year. By looking into the history of Alex Hermosi, we asked the questions. Is Alex a scam artist whose only motive is to gain money from young entrepreneurs? Or is Alex a victim of being labeled a fake guru due to the online reputation of the ones that existed before him? As the saying goes, behind every successful man is a woman. And for Alex, that was his wife, Leila Hormozy, who is also a co-founder in many of Alex's businesses' ventures. But before becoming Alex's right hand, Leila was a lost soul during her college years, with no purpose in life and a criminal record of six arrests in only 18 months related to alcohol abuse. Within a matter of 18 months, I got arrested like six times. Only an idiot could get arrested that many. Like, I was so stupid. But it wasn't until being confronted by her concerned father that Leila saw the toxic life she was living and wanted to improve herself. The next day, you know, my parents sat me down. I'm expecting them to yell at me. And I just remember my dad looked at me and he was like, I'm just really afraid you're going to die. And like, I felt really bad because, you know, he's like a really good dad. And I just felt like that's so selfish of me to be doing. In 2015, after graduating from Western Michigan University, Leila wanted to start fresh and chase her dream of becoming an entrepreneur. So, she moved to California and began hustling at local gyms, working as a personal trainer and salesperson. Life wasn't easy for Leila as she was hustling to make ends meet, but with time, her skills as a salesperson improved, learning new ways to become a better businesswoman. So I went and I applied at every gym nearby and I was like, I'll just start working at a gym at first because like I know I could get a job at a gym. Um, and then I'll learn sales, I'll learn sales for the gym, and then eventually I'll learn more about business and have my own business. I didn't know what kind of business, but I just knew I wanted some kind of business. In 2015, while scrolling through dating apps, Leila was matched with Alex. Soon, the two began talking and started dating. After weeks went by, Alex proposed a business plan for gym launch with Layla, and after seeing the growth potential of the company and Alex's successful business record, Layla was convinced that this was an opportunity that she can't ignore. In the end, she decided to quit her old job. Because, you know, basically on the first date, he's like, we should work together. Like, I want to start this new business. You seem like you can sell and you understand business and you like all this. He's like, you should do it with me. And I was like, we just met. Like, I just feel like, I, I was like, that's a lot. And so I think he, like, kept slowly trying to just, like, get me to, like, start working and doing stuff with him. Fast forward, I end up six weeks into us knowing each other, quitting the gym that I was at, stopping anything with online personal training, and I just went all in on gym work. It was as if fate wanted these two entrepreneurs to meet all along. Soon, Leila became co-founder of Gym Launch and applied her skills during its operations. According to some sources, Leila was able to scale 4,000 locations in four years, along with that scaling three more businesses to over $120 million in cumulative sales. So saying she was beneficial to the company is an understatement. The couple wasn't done just yet, as their biggest venture was about to begin soon after. In 2020, Alex and Leila created the company, Acquisition.com, which was focused on tripling the company's revenue in a matter of five years. Soon after creating their new company, the couple sold off 66% of both Gym Launch and Prestige Labs for $46 million. Talk about cashing out big! But Lele is not short of backlashes as she has been a victim of online ridicule. In December 2022, Lele shared her daily work schedule on Twitter and the response she got was far from kind, many mocking her routine by leaving comments like, Seriously, take out all references to the gym, walking, coffee, dinner, and vague bragging like deep work, and you're left with a calendar containing a few calls and meetings. This is literally just a regular 9 to 5, with filler like your workouts, gym and dinner to make it look more impressive, two hours of deep work, that is regular work, and the rest is meetings, lol. Even with the endless hate thrown at them, it seems like this million dollar couple isn't stopping for anybody, constantly expanding as time goes on. But by diving deep into the histories of both Alex and Layla, we wonder, can Alex's empire succeed without Layla? 
And does the couple deserve the hate they receive online?